Hi everyone, economic growth is an increase in real GDP in an economy in a year caused by an increase in aggregate demand or an increase in LRAS. That definition is brilliant because it does two things. It tells us what growth is. It's an increase in real GDP and that makes a lot of sense because we know real GDP is our measure of economic growth. So if real GDP goes up, that means the economy is growing, but also this definition gives us the two different types of economic growth, the two different causes, an increase in AD or an increase in LRAS. Right, let's take an increase in AD first. That is known as short run growth, also known as actual growth, whenever there is an increase in aggregate demand. And when that's going on, the economy is using up spare capacity in order to increase the output of goods and services in the economy, in order to increase real GDP. And we can show that on two different diagrams. We can use an ADAS diagram, very easy, but we can also use a PPF. Let's go to the ADAS diagram first. I've used the Keynesian version, doesn't matter what diagram you prefer, but a basic shift of aggregate de demand to the right shows that the economy is using up spare capacity. So we have a negative output gap. We are closing that negative output gap by moving towards YFE. And as we close that gap, naturally the economy is producing more goods and services using up spare capacity to do so. So shift of AD from AD1 to AD2 shows the increase in economic growth from Y1 to Y2 moving towards YFE using up spare capacity to produce more goods and services. So we can use that diagram, but we can also use a PPF diagram to show short run growth. Again, we need to show a negative output gap on a macro PPF, and that's a point X. Just bear in mind the labeling on the axis though, guys, when we're drawing a macro PPF, we've got to have goods and services on the axis. That means macro economy, or we can have capital goods and consumer goods on the axis, which implies a macro economy. But if we are inside the boundary, which basically means we are uh, inside our productive potential, at point X, then we have a negative output gap. So what we want to show is a movement from inside the PPF towards the PPF, because that means the economy is using up spare capacity to produce more of both goods and services in this case. So on this diagram from X to Y is an increase in economic growth, short run economic growth. That is basically a boost of AD, a shift of AD to the right. Think of PPF, the actual curve, as the long run aggregate supply curve. So aggregate demand is moving towards that LRAS curve, just like this diagram shows. But now let's look at specific causes of short run growth or actual growth. Well, we need our AD equation again to remind ourselves that AD is equal to C plus I plus G plus X minus M, consumer spending plus investment plus government spending plus net exports. So we need to look at factors that can increase one or more of these variables in the AD equation, such as lower interest rates. We know lower interest rates makes it cheaper for consumers to borrow, but also cheaper for businesses to borrow to invest. So C and I will increase, but also lower interest rates can weaken the exchange rate, which can boost X minus M. Lower income tax or lower corporation tax. Lower income tax means more disposable income for households, more consumer spending. Lower corporation tax means more retained profit for firms, which they can use to invest. Higher consumer or business confidence, that will increase C and I respectively. Higher government spending, of course, increases G, and a weaker exchange rate can boost X minus M. So these are the, these are the specific reasons why AD could increase and therefore short-run growth can occur. And we know how to draw it on diagrams. Let's now look at long-run growth. Long-run growth, also known as potential growth, occurs anytime there is an increase in LRAS. And when that happens, it means there is an increase in the productive capacity of the economy. So the economy has the potential to grow at a faster rate. It doesn't mean the economy is actually growing at a faster rate necessarily. That's all dependent on AD, as we've just learned. It just means that the potential for economic growth in the economy is now at a higher rate. And like we say, it occurs when LRAS increases. So we can show that on an AD and AS diagram very easily via an LRAS shift to the right, but we can also use a PPF. Let's go to that AS and AD diagram. So I've used now the classical interpretation, doesn't matter again which version you prefer, but a shift of LRAS to the right, and we can see that the full employment level of output, the maximum growth rate in the economy is increased from YFE1 to YFE2. There is your long-term growth there is your potential growth done. But we can also use a PPF diagram to show exactly the same thing. And that is simply by showing a shift of the curve. Remember what I said before that the PPF curve, the boundary itself, essentially is your LRAS curve. So if that curve shifts outwards to PPF2 in this case, 
we are showing basically an increase in LRS, we are showing long run growth, we are showing potential growth. So two ways you can illustrate it. But now what are the specific causes of long run growth? What could happen in the economy for LRS to increase? Well, remember why the LRS curve shifts. There are three reasons why this curve can shift to the right. It could be an increase in the quantity of factors of production. It could be an increase in the quality of factors of production in an economy. Or it could be an increase in the productive efficiency of the economy, meaning a reduction in long run cost of production for firms in the economy. So three ways in which this curve can shift to the right. What are the specific factors then that can shift this curve? Well, here they are in red. We need to link what's here in red to then what's in green. I did that in my aggregate supply video, but we'll do it again here just to make sure that we are fully clocked in. So an increase in labor productivity. If labor productivity goes up, that's an increase in the quality of labor and therefore LRS will shift to the right. Maybe there is an increase in the workforce size via an increase in immigration of working people. Well, if that's the case, that's going to increase the quantity of labor and therefore LRS is going to shift to the right. Maybe it's investment. Remember what investment is, the spending on capital by firms. So when firms spend money on capital goods, capital goods, for example, new machinery, maybe they're upgrading their machinery, maybe it's new technology, maybe it's innovation and research and development, maybe it's expanding their factory, maybe it's buying in new vehicles. These are all examples of investment. So investment is a quite a vague term. We need to be specific by giving these good examples. But if investment occurs, then it's going to increase potentially the quantity of capital. If there's new capital coming in, it could be the quality of capital. If we're talking about upgrades and new technology, and also it's going to reduce long run costs of production for firms. So all three will increase when firms are spending on capital goods. We have infrastructure improvements. We can look at that in two ways. We can look at transport infrastructure, reducing long run cost of production for businesses as it becomes cheaper and easier to transport their goods and services, but also cheaper and easier to access raw materials. So long run cost of production will fall. But if infrastructure improvements are physical capital infrastructure, like schools and new hospitals being built, we could argue it's an increase in the quantity of capital. If competition increases in the economy, it means firms in the economy have to reduce their long run cost of production in order to be competitive. So competition improvements will boost productive efficiency in the economy and shift LRAS to the right. And new resource discoveries, new resources or resources in economics, we call that land as a factor of production. So new resources are discovered, that's an increase in the quantity of land, LRAS is gonna shift to the right. So these are your specific uh, factors which can lead to an LRAS shift to the right and therefore can lead to long run growth or potential growth. That means now you understand both actual growth, short run growth and potential growth, long run growth. You can illustrate it on diagrams and you know the specific causes. Important stuff. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video where we look at the economic cycle.